back to my channel. Our most essential learning competency for today is illustrating the different circular functions. I will be defining first the six circular functions and then later on we will be getting the values of these circular functions in a unit circle. Let's do this. So there are six circular functions namely sine or sin cosine or cos tangent or tan cotangent or cot secant or sec and then cosecant or CSC. Okay. Always remember that these circular functions are always followed by, of course, an angle theta. Okay. So how are we going to get the values of this? Always remember that sine theta is always equal to your y. Your cosine theta is always equal to your x. Your tangent theta is always equal to y over x. That means to say it is equivalent to sine theta over cosine of theta. Your cotangent theta will be equal to the reciprocal of this x over y or that is equal to cos theta over sine theta for second we have 1 over x that is the reciprocal of cosine meaning second of theta is equivalent to 1 over cosine of theta and for cosecant, this one is equal to 1 over y. That is the reciprocal of sine. This one is equal to, of course, 1 over sine theta. How are we going to apply this six circular functions in a unit circle? We know that this is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. X is positive and Y is also positive positive in quadrant 1. Okay, we know that. We have the ordered pair x, y. x is positive, y is positive. In the second quadrant, we have, of course, x is negative and y is positive. In the third, we have x is negative, y is negative. In the fourth, we have, of course, positive x and then negative y. This angle is 0 degrees or 360. This one is 90. This one is 180. And this one is 270. How are we going to get, of course, these six circular functions? We know that this one is x. The horizontal axis is x. And we know that the length of this is 1, since this is a unit circle. And as defined earlier, x represents the cosine function. Therefore, this is already equal to 1. Now, you cannot see any y here in this angle, 0 degrees 360. And that is, of course, equal to 0. What about tangent? What about tangent? How are we going to get this? Remember that if you have already the sine and the cosine function, you can now get the values of the remaining functions. This is tangent, 0 degrees, 360. That is 0 over 1, sine over cosine. And that is equivalent, of course, to 0. For the cotangent, you will just get the reciprocal of this. This one is 1 over 0. And this one is undefined. And that is the symbol. Now, for second, this is equivalent to, of course, the reciprocal of your cosine. And your cosine is 1. 1 over 1 is also equal to 1. 
And for CSC or cosecant of 0, that will be 1 over 0. So that is equal to undefined. Let's now go to the next special angle, which is 90 degrees. So this one is our 90 degree angle. And this one is, of course, our Y. The length of this is equal to 1. And we defined earlier that, of course, Y is represented by the sine function. Therefore, this one is equal to 1. We cannot see any X here since this is the angle. So, therefore, this one is 0. For tangent, you just get the ratio of 1 and 0. That is sine over cosine. And this one is undefined. For cotangent, we have 0 over 1, that is just re the reciprocal of tangent, this is equal to 0. For second, we have of course, the reciprocal of cosine, that is 1 over 0, and that is undefined. And for cosecant, we have 1 over 1, and that is equal to 1. For the next angle, 180 degrees, this one is, of course, the 180 degrees, and this one is the x, and x here is negative, and again, this is, of course, represented by the cosine function, and the length of this is, of course, 1, but since this is in between quadrant 2 and quadrant 3, the sine of x here is negative, therefore, this one is negative 1. We cannot see any y here, so that is 0. Again, tangent is sine over cosine, that is 0 over negative 1. This is equivalent to, of course, 0. Cotangent of 180, that is just the reciprocal of this, negative 1 over 0. This one is equal to undefined. For second, this is equivalent to, of course, 1 over negative 1, the reciprocal of cosine, and this one is equal to negative 1. And cosecant is equal to 1 over 0, and that is undefined. That is the reciprocal of. For the next angle, we have sine 270 degrees. Again, this one is 270 degrees. And the length of this is negative 1. And this is in between quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. This is represented by the sine function therefore that is negative one okay we cannot see any y here in this angle that will be equal to zero for tangent you just get the reciprocal or ratio rather of sine and cosine that is negative one over zero so that is undefined for cotangent this one is 0 over negative 1, and this one is, of course, 0. For second, this is reciprocal of 0 is 1 over 0. This one is undefined. And for cos second, the reciprocal of, of course, negative 1 is negative 1. Let us now get the values of other special angles here in a unit circle. This time we have 30, 150, 210, and 330. And these are the angles. This one is, of course, we know that this is 30. We know that this one is 150. This one is 210. And this one is 330. How are we going to get, of course, this six circular functions? First, since we know that this one is the 30 degree angle, you need to make a right triangle connecting, of course, to the x-axis. This one is the x. And this one is your right triangle. Okay. So this one is the 30 degree angle. We know that. And this one is a 60 degree angle. So meaning to say we have created a 30 by 60 right triangle. We know that this one is radius. And that is equivalent to, of course, one unit. There is a theorem in right triangle 30 by 60. It says that the opposite side 
of the 30 degree angle is one half of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse here is, of course, our radius, which is equivalent to one. Therefore, this one is equivalent to one half. Okay, how are we going to get this one? The length of this one. We can get the length of that by, of course, using the Pythagorean theorem. This one is the Pythagorean theorem. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. C is, of course, the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. So, in this case, we have 1 squared is equal to 1 half squared plus B squared. So, this one is 1, this one is 1 fourth, and this one is B squared. So, 1 minus 1 fourth is equal to B squared. 1 minus 1 fourth is we know that that one is 3 fourth. So that is 3 over 4. Cross. That is 4 minus 1 over 4. So this one is 3 fourth. So this is B squared. How are we going to get the B? You just get the square root, the square root. Therefore, B is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So the length of this is square root of 3 over 2. Okay. Now, how are we going to get the x and the y here? We know already that this one is already your x. The length of this is your x. And the length of this is your, of course, y. To get the values, you just look at this right triangle and identify the x and the y. Sine is, of course, y. That is equivalent to 1 half. And then... For your x, we have a square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so we already have the sine and the cosine function. Let's get the reciprocal of sine. The reciprocal of sine is, of course, cosecant. That is 2. The reciprocal of cosine is secant. So, therefore, this is secant is equal to 2 over square root of 3. You just multiply... Both the numerator and the denominator, we call that process as rationalization. So, this is 2 square root of 3 over 3. So, this one is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Now, to get the tangent and cotangent, we know that tangent is equal to sine over cosine. So, tangent is equal to 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. We can cancel it. This is equivalent to 1 over square root of 3 rationalizing it this is equivalent to square root of 3 over 3 this is square root of 3 over 3 now for the cotangent we know that this is equivalent to cosine over sine so cotangent is equal to square root of 3 over 2 over 1 half we can cancel it so that is square root of 3 now for our 150 degrees, remember that this 150 degrees is of course similar to 30. Again, always make a right triangle, connect it to the X like this. And then this one is 30. This one is 60 again. Same here and same here. So this one is one half. This one is square root of 3 over 2. This one is 1 half. This one is 1 half. This one is square root of 3 over 2. Now, how are we going to, of course, identify now the values of these special angles? We know that sine of 150, this one is sine 150. And the sine of the sine function, which is y, this one is your y, and the sine of y here is, of course, positive. So, therefore, it is still positive. That is equivalent to 1 half. Okay. For your cosine, it's similar. This one is the cosine, dx. And this is equivalent to square root of 3 over 2. But this time, it is in the second quadrant. That's why it's negative square root of 3 over 2. For our tangent, positive, negative, it's negative, square root of 3 over 3. And for our cotangent, 
it's negative square root of 3. For our second, this is the reciprocal of course of our cosine. It's negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. And for our cos second, this one is equivalent to, of course, positive 2. For our 210 angle sine, again, this one is your sine. This is the y, and this one is the x. They are both negative now, so therefore, it's negative 1 half. This one is y, 210. And then, your x is negative square root of 3 over 2. This is the x. And then, our tangent, negative, negative is positive. Our cotangent, negative, negative is also positive. Okay, the reciprocal of course of your cosine is this one. It's negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. And of course, for the cosecant, this one is negative. So for, for the 330 degree angle, this one is again your y and this one is your x. Your x is positive here and your y is negative here. So therefore, your y is 1 half, it's negative 1 half. Your x is square root of 3 over 2. For your tangent, it's negative square root of 3 over 3. For your cotangent, it's negative square root of 3. For your second, second is the reciprocal of cosine. This one is 2 square root of 3 over 2. And of course, for the cosecant, this one is negative. <laughs>